Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Rebel Galaxy. Thank you very much for your comments and your your desire to watch. As you notice, this, there is no music this time around because as awesome as the music is, unfortunately it is all in fact copyrighted. I wasn't aware of this. It wasn't musically music I usually listen to. I didn't recognize it, but YouTube quite happily sent me an email saying you have these songs in your video and it's gonna be you can still watch it but it's gonna be blocked from monetizing it's like well great so I decided to leave that up just because yep and but bit the bullet on that one but unfortunately all the videos from now on are going to be um, musicless I might eventually come up because it does let you put in a custom soundtrack and I might see if I can get some like royalty free music, but I need to find stuff that matters first of all. First things first, um, someone quite rightly pointed out, and I found out in my other playthrough, because I'm playing this side by side so I can enjoy the music, um, that s saving money for a ship is not the way you want to do it. You want to upgrade as much as, as much as you possibly can, because the, more, the better your ship is, the easier it is, to, the easier you will find combat. So I'm going to grab a couple of pulse turrets, because I really enjoy them. They do a lot of work um, as missiles go. Um, I'm thinking about getting proton cannon as well because the proton cannon is always is pretty good. Enga engaging at range always best. Um, defensive wise, I can put my sh I can bring my shields up a bit. Like for example, the recharge time is slower, but that's double shield capacity on my shields, so I'm going to get that. And I cannot quite increase my deflector. I could sell my ramming deflector. I can get a ramming deflector, which has greater damage capacity, but it also lets me ram ships. But I'm not really looking for that because I'm going quite ranged at the moment. I got some field impact shields, which I might grab that at some point. And uh, components, anything I can rank up here, I can grab up my engine, I can rank up my warp drive, which I'm going to do just because it lets me move around faster. Right, um, if you don't remember correctly, we have our mission to go to, but we're going to grab some missions along the way because we need to rank, get money. So I'm going to go for you, I'm going to go for you, and I can get one more. You. I can't get the last one because you can only have five missions at once, and one of them is always the plot mission. So that's interesting. I wonder if at some point there's no prot, prot, plot, and they get to do whatever I want to do. Right, so this episode we're going to do our missions, which are conveniently all in that direction. Uh, and then maybe end up with that one. Uh, so in my, in my other playthrough, I've got to the point where I've left this system, and I've also realized that the, the maps are to a certain degree randomly generated. Like, for example, the sector map in my system is different, because my sector map, I start somewhere in the middle, like somewhere over here. Still, it's still a point system, but it's over here somewhere. So it's a kind of a different map. The locations in this are different as well. Oh yeah, I totally forgot we had our bounties as well. We got a certain amount of bounties to get to. Ooh, okay, so yeah, everything's over here. So we're going to go do this first, which is a nice cluster, actually. I didn't realize it was that nice. So we're going to start with Deserter, then work our way around. Or do you want to start with this one? Go read it. Let's yeah, start this way. Kurtani, border extrication. Uh, can I go back into booster mode? Accelerating for Hopefully our our warp our upgraded warp drive lets us get there faster. A lot, of, a lot of the travel, there's a lot of traveling time in this. Because also, the, the further I go this direction, the longer it is for the further away I get from that mission over there. The stress beacon, but I've got plenty to do. I've got plenty to do at the moment. I'm also wondering if I want to go exactly the same thing I went in my other playthrough, or do I want to go build in a different direction? So my other playthrough, I went. To, I skipped the Mastodon. I went straight to the Icarus, which I do like as a good ship. But it would be interesting if I want to fly something different. We are in the right location. Yes, we are. Okay, the first target is that hammerhead over there. Because we're at long range, we can fire at very long range. Oh, this is hang on. Uh, quick. 
just a bit a bit less volume please uh, let me just re increase that up I like my feedback I like feeling stuff happening this takes longer to fire but it absolutely wrecks shields and it hits especially if you get the level 2 version Get okay, back here. Oh, I lost. I failed the mission. What happened? Did it? I wonder if I was supposed to protect something that died. Whoops. So yeah, I like pulse lasers because of their increased range and their increased damage. This is getting too hot for me. Get back here. Boosters depleted. Just look, look, look at the range. They're accurate as well. They've got a range of about... There you go. They hurt. These pulse lasers hurt. Considerably. You can't... Grab. Uh, let's see, Res missile corvette as well. Let's, let's take you out. Yep, shields down. Disruptors down. Disruptors deflected down. Let's chase. This can't be happening. It is happening. You can't stop this. Okay, engage warp. Nuts and bolts. Nuts and bolts not really worth picking up. Uh, Kuritani Border Patrol. Let's find out. Does it say why, why I failed the mission? No, okay. Border Patrol is hostile contacts. Kill a specific guy. And, okay. Kratani Border Patrol mission. I have tried a bit of mining, but I haven't really had a ship where mining is worthwhile. Because like this only has a, a cargo capacity of 10, unupgraded. What do we have here? Oh, they haven't arrived yet. Okay. Oh, is that at them? No. Enemy craft inbound. There you go. Where are you? Exiting. The gunship over there. Front shield's gone. Front armor damaged. Front armor gone. Dead. I know it's only a fighter, but it's still impressive. How I still like how quickly the pulse turrets do the job. Satellite boosters depleted. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Dead. Like, against small things? Like, I don't even need to help it with the main guns. They can just deal damage by itself. A single shot in as well helps considerably. There you go. And dead. And one left, I think. Yeah, one left over there. Come on, buddy. Accelerating to sublight. Double jack gunships. Oh, boom, add an ordnance crate that is not really required at the moment. But that was a quick 6,000 credits, so not too bad. Militia 8 over there. Warping out. Quick mission over there.
And also, you have to like, you do have to do missions. Like you don't get enough rewards from um, from from the plot missions to get to upgrade your ship well enough. You need to level up your ship to a certain degree. Let's ram that a bit. Let's get that a bit of a, give you a bit of welly. Cool. I've also realized that um, according to the to this, the the, the, the faction what's name is on the right like a hundred like plus a hundred is barely noticeable I'm not sure what the numbers are but like plus or minus one is nothing Accelerating the the missile missile corvette over there Take care of the missile corvette. And fire. And fire. Shields down. And armor down. Deflector down. Down. Nuts and bolts. Might as well track her. Might, might as well track her in. Did I manage to? No, it's too far away. Uh, what else have we got here? There's a hammerhead over there, and another possible. Nope, just a hammerhead, which is gonna die now. Good. Another 4,000. Not too bad. And last one over there is Deserter Average. So that technically should be the harder one to do. That should be the harder one to do. But I'm looking forward to it. Possibly with with like the with like the Mastodon and upgrading to the Tannhäuser, it might be more interesting to go with a close range build. Dead. There's a frigate over there. What's it? What's it? What? Yeah. See, that's, I think that's a Mastodon. That's kind of Mastodon esque, I think. It's based on it. If it was the like star sector, it would be a Mastodon D. I think in the next system, there should be a militia station, so we can start looking at these militia frigates, because they do look cool. And hang on, if I just quickly scan one of these. Like, these do look interesting. It has, what, two turrets. Yeah, it looks like two turrets. One is at the front, and the other one is right where the triangle in the middle of the screen is. And what looks to me like three broadside ports? Well, I do think it looks nice. Maybe they have something in the same vein, but bigger. So how much money have you got now? We had... We are 12,000 now. So we had we left the station with like 300 in the pocket. So 12,000, which... For now is quite a bit, but soon will be absolutely nothing. Because soon we can start earning like 12,000 per mission. But, you know, you start up slow, then you build up. Just like every other game. You have a deserter here. First things first. Oh, here's Vance Doyle. What's he in? Oh, he's, a, he's the deserter, isn't he? So yeah, so he's got... He's got a f okay, so apart from the mission itself, he also has a bounty. So I'm going to get the reward for the mission and the reward for the bounty. So this is going to be profitable. So definitely want to keep... Fire some Not shots out. Missiles this one I'm going to shield against because that's a harder missile. Like these small missiles don't do much against my shielding. Those big missiles can wreck it. Oops, I just crashed into something. And quick. Boom. Okay, down to shields. Missiles away. Missiles inbound. Bounty down you go. Received. So we got the 5,000 credit bounty mission. and 5,000 credits for the mission. So pretty good. And what's over there? Cargo container. Always nice. I've managed to get quite a lot of money from those. 
just because it has, it, it can drop equipment, and the equipment's like, here, have a free Mark 1 Pulse Cannon. Oh, sweet, 5,000. And like a lot of um, other space games I've played, there is, oh, designer clothes. Designer clothes sell for a lot. Uh, designer clothes sells for 8,000. Data cube sell for 2,000. So yeah, we got quite a bit of money here. Um, but yeah, like, um, commodities go up and down in price, but the price of, let's see, if I can, can I unload anything? What about, where am I? The screw are tiny over there. And you go all the way over there, so it's swing by. A lot of bounties nearby, isn't there? Um, Swing by Rust by Navashin. I'm gonna swing by Navashin, go over there. Um, but like the price, much like in, I think in Elite Dangerous as well, the price of any components to your ship is fixed. Like you buy a post turret for five and a half grand, you sell a post turret for five and a half grand. Which means you can hot, as long as you have the money, you can hot swap and stuff and like, try it out as much as you want, which I think is really nice. I think it's really useful. You're not punished for buying a ship, especially because here you can't try stuff out. Like there's no simulator mode like there is in Star Sector. You can't okay try this out, this new thing. Oh no, it's not kind of what I want, and then stop. Admittedly, like everything really works. There's no you can't, for example, you can't really screw yourself over, like with flux that you can in um, Star Sector. But you can. Uh, the drop is set, make the exchange, so it's... Okay, so you have the, the, the there. Okay, I might go there afterwards. Um, so there's no flux, you can't really create a loadout that doesn't quite work. Everything will work to a certain extent. You can be under-optimized, sure, but there's nothing inherently broken. You're right in the way, so let's pop in. Looks like they fell for it. Let's take them, boys. Axe heads are harder than usual. They're better than hammerheads. I think if I go to this, if I scan this... Yeah, this is better than a hammerhead. This looks quite like a quite nice tip as well. It looks like four broadsides. One turret? Really one turret? I can't tell us the turret where we're... No, there doesn't seem to be a turret there. So you've got one turret and a four brought... Really? Why are you so dangerous? I won't forget this. Down. Yeah, 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 I know. Missiles away. Keep the shields down. Impact. Get back here. Right, fine. Let's deal with you, first of all, because you guys are getting on me. Good. Oh, we got a frigate here as well. Get back here. Accelerating to Unless your frigate has joined the fray. Your shield's back up. No matter. Need proton cannon. Nice, 3,000 credits, bounty. And we were over there. Okay, we're at 18 minutes. So I'm gonna go there, get that one bounty, stop off at place, unload all the things I have in my hold. I'm not gonna worry about getting the best um, price for stuff in my hold. I'm not really focusing on being a trader at the moment. What was that? That was a... Something rather, don't care. It was close enough to grab my attention. Oh, but okay. What do we have here? So what do we have? Missile corvette, hammerhead. Okay, the hammerhead's the bounty. Take the Corvette down. Oh, there's got a lot of ships around here. Whoops. You picked the wrong fight, Cutter. 
Apparently so. All that means is I gotta... Whoa! My shield's down. Can you just please shoot them down? Like, just... Shoot Harrier, please. Yeah, I'm out of here. This is a bit too hot for me. Well, well, look what we got here. Oh yeah, I'm definitely out of here. It's a command ship. They're not in the shape to fight. I cannot fight a command ship right now. Take your deflector out. Yep, I'm taking it. I'm taking. I can't say, can you just... Thank you. Okay, I gotta get out of here now. I'll break the hammerhead, then I'll... Then I have to go. Kill the hammerhead, then head off. Good. I got the bounty, so I'm happy with that. We're out of here. That ship will make a fine prize. Okay. Where is the station around here somewhere? Stellar map. The ship, the station's over here. So just keep going around. The, just keep going around the planet. Okay. Just keep going around the planet. Over there. You go there and repair as well. Good. So you arrived, you can repair up and then go do the last mission there. What do we have here? Militia Destroyer. That does look really, really nice. <laughs> like I like the militia construction of ships. So what is it, what's it got? It's got at least... I'm counting, what? One at the top, three on each side, another one there, one at the back. It's got, what, eight turrets, maybe? If not, if it's any, if it's any, any at the bottom? No, so I'm taking eight turrets and quite a few broadsides, I'd say. Maybe six. Maybe six broadsides, although I can't really see them from here. Some ships don't have really visible broadside ports, which is a bit unfortunate. But I'd guess the big, these are the big things are the broadside ports, and maybe they'd do about two each. I'd guess, but the fact that there's no clearly visible like barrel is a bit unfortunate. Uh, anyway, let's dock, repair up, and finish the plot mission. Yep, 477 credits. So yeah, I can go to the Mastodon, which then upgrades into the Tannhuizen. Mastodon's a bit slower, but it has more broadside ports and an extra turret, so... Always very nice. Not as fast, but it, it, it is as maneuverable, so that's something to worry about. Tannhuizen is big. Like, the Vanguard is like the, the one I really want to have a look at, because this looks really, really nice. This looks like it would do a lot of damage. And you are just huge. I have tried to engage one of these before. Like, I have tried to actually fight against this. It has been very interesting. I couldn't... I, I had my Icarus at the time. I couldn't quite do it. Mainly because... Um, let's sell what I got. What I got. I can sell designer clothes for really low prices. Fine, whatever. Like I said, I'm not a trader. I'm not here to trade. Still made quite a bit of cash. The data cube sold for a thousand above the average price, so I'm not too upset. Equipment bay, anything I can get leveled up, like standard hull plate increase. I can go all the way, like to that one. 
which is going to be pretty neat. But I'd rather upgrade everything else first. Like, I would rather put, for example, a Pulse Turret Mark II, which does a lot more damage, a slightly more range. Or I could also go for a Particle Laser Turret, which also is really, really nice. I'm not going to, though, because I want to have at least, like, if I get the 10 Hoisin, the third turret can be Particle Laser. But... Can I trade up for you? Not quite. I need another 5,000 before I can get you. Uh, ooh, anything else I can upgrade while I'm here? Do that. Upgrade that up a bit. Engines. Uh, better sublight booster for lasts for longer. Warp drive. We're ready at warp mark one. Cargo hold. Don't really require that. Jump drive. That's only later. Yep, so we've given the ship a bit of an upgrade. Let's go finish the plot mission. Engines at maximum. So we did quite a bit of upgrades there. And yeah, I do agree I do agree after trying this out that upgrading your ship a bit at a time is worth it. Mainly because when you upgrade the ship, all the upgrades you have on this ship is transferred to the to the new ship. We also need to find, when I do upgrade to my first new ship, a name for the ship. I am going to be asking for names for this, but because I'm not swapping ships as quickly as I am in Star Sector, I can't like get... I can't A, first of all, I can't give you a priority of ships. I'm going to buy what's available, or what I want to buy. You get to choose the name only, and I cannot go through them a lot. So you get one suggestion, and I will use them as they come up. Right, almost there, almost there, almost there. The increased feedback is quite interesting. The researcher. And Wan in Boganti Station. We can dock. Cool. Do they have anything different here? Uh, shipyard is a quick way to tell. Nope, they've got the same loadout here. So yeah, once I have 43,000 credits, I'm going to upgrade to the Tannhuizen. No, sorry, to the Mastodon. Which does look pretty neat. Hmm. Yee. I like it. I like spaceships. I like spaceships a lot. Um, I like, even though they don't fire a lot of missiles, I like that the the high speed missile thing. Like it does feel like a bit of a fire everything kind of moment. I don't know. Anyway. What are you doing here? I'm quite busy. Get out. Hold it. Are you the uh, researcher, or is it was? Yeah, this is, it tells me like I can play this bad, but I'm never. I never play games bad. Like I play games as good. So hold it. Are you the uh, researcher, or is it was telling me about? Oh, Lars, that figures. I never had any respect for anyone's time. I'm Sal. If I answer your questions, will you leave? Yeah, sure. I promise. It's about this Spectre device. We were hoping you'd be able to figure out what this is. I've seen other artifacts like this before. Interesting. I'll admit to take some time to analyze it. While I do so, you can perform an errand for me and gather some materials critical to my research. I love that we get we get we start getting like genre side from another errand. Yes, well, my research requires raw materials and it seems a fair trade for my expertise. I need about three tons of omnium ore. It's rare, but I know of a few places to source it. Okay, let's hear about it. Here are the coordinates for a field that contains trace amounts of omnium, and another set for a trade convoy that I know has the material. It's up to you how you procure it. Fine, I'll be back. Yes, yes, whatever. Cool, so let's quickly go grab some omnium. Uh, you can either go... You can either go, uh, see, you can either go mining for it, or you can go buying it. Engines maximum. Mi going mining for it involves buying a mining laser and going and carving up the the field. It's 
probably the route you want to take if you're going for a bit more merchanty route. Although you really can't with this game, at least not yet, because of the fact that like, there are plot fights, there are plot encounters that require there are, are tough fights. So whatever ship you have to bring has to do some fighting. The mining laser, unlike in other games, the mining laser is a weapon. You can use it as a weapon, and it's not a bad weapon. Um, it actually is a kind of an interesting counterpoint to the particle laser, because the particle laser has really, really bad. The mining laser has re the particle laser has really, really bad. Um, really bad interaction with shields. Like the, the particle laser takes ages to punch through shields, whereas the mining laser has a bonus against shields. It's not as strong and doesn't have as much range, but it has a bonus to shields. Which is interesting. But personally, I like that. Thanks. Thanks there, mining trader. Anyway, let's hail you. Uh, cargo container. Salvage you. One intellectual property, one gold in goods, and five... Nice. Already, That's not already. bad at all. Okay, it's hail. Hailing. Yeah? You got something to say? So you can say, you can either, again, pirate the Omnium, or you can just say, I want to buy the Omnium, please. I got a few tons. Yeah. Listen. You give me a fair price or a few tons of military hardware, and we'll call it square. So again, you can either pay 2500 up front, or you can just trade for hardware, or you can try to kill them. Everything just pay for it, to be honest, I can't be bothered. Mission complete. I've got the cash. We're going to leave now, because a lot of Riftjackers turn up, and Rift Korean Koreans are like the hardest fights you'll get in this sector. Again, we have good move. Yeah, I know, fair enough. I'll give you a hand then. What do you got there? A Korean bomber? Korean bombers are painful. They need to die really quickly. Because Korean bomber fires strong missiles. Korean riftjacker down. Korean lancer next. Well, that's dead. I'm out of here. You can ask, why couldn't you get here five minutes beforehand, kill them, and I would just loot the... Come on. Can you please kill that? Thank you. You get out of here now? Satellite boosters depleted. We should be quite we should be far enough away that we can hit into there we go. We're, we're at sublight speeds, we can warp. So we'll warp back to the station. Yep, don't care. We'll warp back to the station, dock in, give the Omnium in, and then we will see what we get next time. And boom. Back to Bogantis. And we can. I wonder what I knew what measurement SM was. Anyway, so we got 4,000 credits for that. Right. Next time, we will visit the lab and. Uh, Excellent. This Omnium will do nicely. We'll do this now, actually. Now, as for this device, it really is quite unusual. And I have made some excellent progress. Go on. They call this a specter, yes? It is apt, because I believe there is an intelligence contained within. What sort of intelligence? We may never find out. It is only inert because of a lack of power, which it is theoretically capable of absorbing. But centuries of carbon accretion have prevented this. And? Well, I have removed the carbon. However, the device has not reactivated. It may be nothing more than junk at this point. Thanks, I suppose. Please do not mention it. It is an interesting item, but I have wasted enough time. Excuse me. Cool. So we have turned up. We've given the spectre. It's apparently a useless thing that has no power. And we'll find out what happens next time. See you then. Bye.